Hello everyone, welcome to the Robo Samurai Channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Galvatron. And there he is right here, but let's take a quick look at this box. And uh, you can kind of see some of the artwork here. Um, it's Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. Um, it's looking pretty good in this, uh, this photo here. Or it's actually these photos back here. Looking pretty good, 33 steps, whatnot. And you know the rest of the game. Um, and here he is right here. Man, this is a pretty neat looking figure. You can see that um, it is um, uh, a really nice uh, Galvatron. Um, he's got some of that battle damage here. You know, this, uh, the um, looks like kind of scuffing or whatnot. You've got it here, here. Um, the Decepticon symbol is uh, pretty uh, nice and clear. He's got it around his ankles here. Um, but yeah, looking, looking really, really kind of sharp actually. And a lot better than the Titans Return version of him. And here's what he looks like from the back. Um, and uh, let's let's do another shot here with, uh, before we start any of the other things that we're gonna do, we'll do this. Um, here he is with, with Cyclonus, and here he is with Scourge. So yeah, these three uh, make a pretty good set. Of course, this is the Studio Series uh, Scourge, and this is also the Kingdom Cyclonus. So yeah. And no, I'm not going to transform him into a jet and try to fit him in there. He just won't fit. Whoops, check that out. All right. So, now let's also talk about some of the other things he comes with besides his cannon. I'm going to go ahead and straighten him out here. Um, we've got uh, this weapon here, which actually is two weapons in one. And... Um, it uh, ha it very much resembles the ship that uh, was made for him by um, uh, by Unicron. So he's got two of them here, and it's kind of a kind of an interesting uh, two weapon thing uh, that you have going on. So um, yeah, and you can com you can combine these, and he can hold it in his hand. And um, let's see here, um, uh, like that, I suppose. All right, cool. Um, the instructions also show that you can take this and you can attach it to his back by, um, not, I don't think both of them, but you just take one each and then you can just, uh, just kind of put it right here and right here and, and that's kind of, uh, that's what they recommend you do. All right, cool. So he's got that going on. So, um, his head is on a, looks like a ball peg. Um, so he can get all the way around and look. Um, he's got uh, uh, these. Uh, he's got a, a swivel here, and then he also has um, uh, his shoulders are able to to move out all the way. Um, you can also do um, you can do a swivel here, um, and then his wrists also swivel. But that's about it on the fist. And then he also has, of course, over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. All right. Now he does come with one other accessory, and I'll talk about that real quick. And it is this chain with the leader, of the matrix, the leader of matrix, um, the matrix of leadership on it. And um, this goes right around his head, as you would expect, like that. Now this is um, this particular um, matrix here uh, does come off, and it is the same one that came with Hot Rod. Um, it's just kind of, um, it's painted, um, and it is made of that same clear plastic, but you can't tell because they painted the blue and everything in it, but I kind of shined a light through it and I confirmed this is just completely painted. It's clear. So without it, that's what it kind of looks like. It's just this chain. So you can have it, uh, you can hang it around his neck or whatnot. Um, you know, or you can give it to Scourge and let him go crazy anyway. Um, so uh, let's go on ahead and take these off here and um, you know, put back on this and yeah so this is uh so this is what he looks like um he also has just to describe some of the other articulation he does have that ankle tilt he does have um the uh the legs can go out to the side whoops um let's see here get those out of the way these hip skirts kind of move out of the way so he can um he can kind of move there so um yeah so pretty good he's got the waist swivel as well so um and then the thigh swivel so you've got a lot of different options 
And yeah, he can do the squats. He can sit there on a throne or do whatever you want him to do. Um, and he can kind of get that mo, you can get that motion out of him as well. So very cool stuff. Anyway, so let's get him into, let's transform him. Let's get him changed into his, uh, his, um, cannon mode. Now the instructions don't show a gun mode and I don't know if there's going to be a fan thing for it or whatnot. But, um, yeah, so, uh, regardless, so let's start. What we want to do is, um, yeah, the, by the way, if I didn't mention, these wrists are also on a swivel, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, you want to make sure that the wrists are like that and swivel them both inward. And then we're going to take this, this tab will tab into here. So, um, let me see here, if you guys can see, cool. Uh, you want to tab that in. Nice and solid there. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to take this tread right here. And we're going to make sure that the tread goes. It's got like this double joint going on. So you want to do this. And just set it like this. It doesn't snap in. You just want to put it in here like so. Do the same thing on the other side. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to just keep them kind of out of the way for the moment. All right, so make sure that you've got your waist turned correctly, and we're going to work on the rest of that. So we've got, um, and by the way, these things do move. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to now open this up and unpeg this. So you have one unpeg here, and then you have another unpeg there. So we're going to do that on this other side as well. Unpeg, unpeg. All right, so we're going to set those kind of off to the side so that we can work on this piece here. Now... We've got, um, you're going to open this here, actually pull this out. Then I'm going to open this here. And sometimes I have some problems with this. I just take a spudger and I just kind of force it in here and open it up there. So you got that going on. And then, um, you'll take this and then you're going to open it up and we're going to lift this piece out, his chest piece and then push his head all the way back in. And what I found helps is that if you hold this, there's this tab right here. It tends to want to get caught. So I lift it up and then make sure it get, makes it so that you can push that head in all the way. Um, and then you're going to fold this in and then close this up behind it and make sure that this is all nice and tight. All right. So now we've got that going. Um, the next thing we want to do is... Uh, we're going to take, I think we're going to work on these, but first we're going to move these up here and out of the way. So we want these arms up and out of the way. Okay, so um, let me see here. Should we do this next? Yeah, so it's probably best if you went ahead and did that. Okay, let's work on the legs. Now these here, we're going to move out of the way. Just twist them this way. And then we're going to take the legs <clears throat> and we're going to open this up here. And then we're going to take this and fold it back like that. So it's against there at an angle. All right. And do the same thing on the other side. This thing actually tabs in. So you want to untab it and then swing it around on this double hinge and then fold it against the side of his leg. Then we're going to take these here, his heel pieces, and fold them all the way in. Then we're going to twist here and twist here and tab these together. So we want these tabbed here and here, and you'll see them there. There's actually one, two, three tabs, and they'll lock in those three places. One, two, and three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, there. Now, we've got those in place. Okay, so what we want to do at this point is, let's see here, we want to go and put this, I think we have to go this way, and we want to pull this down and over like this. So we've got that going on, and we want to pull these on the ankle, on the, on the, on the, on the waist swivel and do that, so that it looks like that, okay? line it up so that you basically have turned and it's now it should be at almost a 90 degree angle this will all line up in a minute so um, what we want to do next is we pull this down make sure it's like this all right 
Um, this hinge should come all the way down so it's aligned like this. Then we want to take this, and if you see this tab right here in that slot, we're going to move them in there. But we're going to be very careful about this because what we want to do, if you look, it almost wants to do it. This um, this hip skirt piece is now going to lock into here, and that's what we want to do as we do this. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to push this down here. Let's see here, and make sure that it locks in there. Okay, so we've got a couple of moving pieces here, no pun intended. I'm going to make sure, if you li line this up, you'll be able to push all this together. And now, we can do the rest. Okay, so we've got that, that, and that. So this is how it should be lining up, and that should have tabbed into there. If I untab it, you can see it here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just uh, as we begin to align these tabs, make sure that you grab this on the way down. And then we're going to push this into here. Okay, there we go. And like so. Now the, the last thing you're going to do is if you look here... There are, and I'll point it out with uh, the spudger here, you've got this little tab right here is going to go into that slot right there on the bottom of his old chest. So that's going to lock those in. So you should hear it go. It should just gonna snap into place like that. Okay. Now we're going to bring these down and align them like this. So we've got these now lined up thusly. Okay. And... This, by the way, you should be able to put this back and push it back there. I think it was before here. Now we want it to move back here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take his legs and we're going to open them up here so that they're at a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to reach in here and you're going to grab these two posts, pull them down. And you'll see there's two wheels down there. And they should, all of this should essentially line up together so when we put this on the ground it looks like that all right and then the next thing we want to do to finish it up we're going to take uh this here take apart his cannon essentially put it here plug that into here and then take his cannon and put that into the top there and i think we're just about finished there so yeah there it is galvatron in his cannon mode and he's a pretty good-looking Galvatron, I will say that. Um, the only things um, that he's kind of missing are these here. And the instructions say that you can tab these. I believe they say you can tab them here. Let me check this out real quick. But um, you should be able to tab them here. Wait a second here. Hold on. Um, take a quick peek at the instructions because this is part I kind of left out and forgot about. Um, oh yeah, so, yeah, so these tabs here, you, you'll see them here, they'll just fit here, and, uh, I don't know if I like that or not, because it kind of looks interesting, I suppose, there's that side, and there's that side, and you can kind of do that number here, so, um, all right, there. So that's what the instructions tell you to do with them. They tell you to put them on like that. I'm okay. I'm okay with just leaving them off, quite frankly, because I think that it looks better without them. So, um, and there it is. Um, Galvatron in his cannon mode, of course. And, um, yeah. So I picked this thing up from Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, it, you can still pre-order it there. Um, if you like this video, please, please give me a like. Um, by the way, um, you can always do this, but I don't know. I didn't mention this, this at the end, but, uh, this is what they show you can do with this. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, if you want to see more of my content, um, please subscribe to the channel and, uh, we will talk to you later. Thank you very much for tuning in.